Hello, it's Kimba, your friendly boobertuber psychiatrist. Here to give you the friendly truth and hopefully not to hurt anyone's feelings. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm gonna shed light again. I get tired of shedding light, but you know. I've come to learn that I do it for my own sanity. Yes, I do. I shed light on my own situation and my own scenario. And once I could do it with me, that I could share with other people my own experience. See how that goes? And if my own experience helps you shed light on something you have going on in your life, kudos. If not, oh well, my light wasn't meant for you, okay? My experience, I should say. My experience I share with you wasn't meant for you to hear. That's all. No big deal. I don't want to hear a lot of people's experiences either, so I get it. But. There is one main, main thing that, well, I think I probably made a video a year or two ago about it, but I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. There is one big major, major overhaul reason of why people, I don't know, would not want to accept what's really going on around them. Whether it's the world they live in, the people they interact with, jobs they have, places they go, things they see, whatever. Their financial statement, their job, their school, their car, it don't matter. If people knew the reality that means people would have to change. <laughs> That's right. If you knew something was not right or going on, but you wanted to keep repeating it, you fall into the category of insanity, okay? So if people find out what this whole grand illusion is about, people would have to change who they are first of all you'd have to change your thoughts your feelings it would be a massive overall and I mean on the human body in general I mean on your mind body and soul because then you will realize that now you're just kind of complaining about what's going on but you're not changing nothing. Definitely not taking personal responsibility. And I mean for everything in your life. Everything. And I know, I know people are going to stop me. Like, but wait a minute. I wasn't responsible for that. No. You know what? We are all, as people... We're responsible for our own thoughts, feelings, and actions. That's right. We can be quick to want to blame someone else, but we are responsible. How many people can really come out and do that? I mean, even if the shittiest, shittiest thing was done, even if you encountered something so horrific and evil, even if you know the biggest secret ever to have come about, As a person, when you get information like that, well, you got to do something with it. 
And if you don't do anything with that information, you are just spitting out the information, which means now you're repeating yourself. You kind of sound psycho. Yes, I'll say it. And because I know that's what happened for me. And you're just going on and on and on. That's not doing anything. It's not doing nothing at all. So, with that being said, who would want to? Who would want to know about everything around them? Who would want to? Like, I couldn't just do a video. I couldn't, uh, and I'll give you a good, I'll give you a good explanation right now. I can just open my door and just tell someone, give me one minute, I'm doing a video. And they get upset, okay? This is what we deal with in the world. There are short-term memory loss out there. People want their needs met right away. Different kinds of energy, different age groups, all that. How do you get everybody, or how does anyone get everyone to be like, well, now you have all this grand knowledge. What are you going to do about it? Because I'll tell you right now, a lot of people are going to say nothing. I'm going to do nothing with it. And if they do something with it, they're probably just going to keep repeating it and repeating it and repeating it verbally, via technology, verbally, whatever. Now, I'm not saying everyone does that. There are some people that take that information, digest it, accept it, change their way of thinking and living. They pull themselves out of that victim mentality and they say, oh, I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to take the information that I just so unwillingly was handed that was quite disgusting and disturbing and evil and well I'm not going to live in that victim mentality I'm going to get the hell on out of there I'm going to move on up ease on up and have a better happier life that takes a lot of work it takes a lot of work physically, mentally and spiritually and if it takes a lot of work, well, how many people are willing to do a lot of work? Let's face it. Let's look at people around the world. I could tell you probably about a couple of years ago, I wasn't going to do the work. Nope. And I know in about some sick shit for, I don't know, a long, 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 long time. But even two years ago, I was like, I'm not changing me. What? Personal responsibility for everything? No, because I wasn't the cause of that, 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 or that, or that. No, I was. You know why? I let it influence my thoughts. That's right. And when it comes down to it, you as a person are responsible for your thoughts. No one else's. So again, you got to want to change got to be willing to laugh at yourself laugh when you fuck up laugh if you make a mistake like I just hurt someone's feelings apparently okay I can't sit and dwell in that because I do like to please, please people I'm not gonna lie I'm not perfect no one's perfect okay <laughs> I still have things to work on myself I'm a people pleaser and when I have to shut someone down because I'm in the middle of something even though it's stating my boundaries, it gets to me. It bothers me. But that is an old habit I'm trying to break. Okay? That hasn't been completely broken yet. We can't help what other people feel. We can't help what other people do. But we can help how we react to a situation. We can help how we handle a situation. We can help where our energy goes and our thoughts go. We can help that. That's about it. And with that, I'm out.